recognition it deserves. And also, some of that artwork is uh, stunning as well. Um, now, as you can see, Alexis is uh, here with the weather, and uh, I guess more rain on the way. It's a bit of calm before the storm today, it isn't is, it? It is, yes. We've got an, yet another weather warning tomorrow for rain and wind. I'll talk about that in just a second, but let's take a look at your weather pictures. Gemma White photographed flooding today at Wareham Quay this morning. And uh, thanks to Colin Lee for sending us this shot of reflections in Southampton. Very artistic. And Nick Curley captured a rainbow at Great Wishford near Salisbury. So yes, we had some heavy rain this morning, followed by some really sharp showers and further rain is expected tomorrow. Let's take a look at the rainfall in Shoreham. We've seen 202% of the average rainfall, which is normally 90 millimetres, up until just around half an hour ago, we saw up to 182 millimetres, so extremely high rainfall amounts. And in fact, it's been the wettest November on record in Shoreham. Now, we've had some quite blustery conditions, producing some large waves today. This scene was photographed at Shanklin on the Isle of Wight by one of our weather watchers. Through the day tomorrow, yet another weather warning, wet and windy, dry at first with sunny spells, but turning wet and windy as we head through the afternoon afternoon and into the evening. Showers are a possibility through this evening and overnight tonight, especially for the south coast and for the Isle of Wight. Elsewhere, it should be mainly dry with clearer skies, still a continuing southwesterly breeze and lows of 3 to 4 Celsius. So we wake up tomorrow with mainly dry conditions, but through the afternoon we're expecting some heavy rain and strong winds. The Met Office have issued that wind and rain warning from 10 o'clock until 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. Heavy rain, may lead to localised flooding and we could see some very strong wind gusts with that rain band. So dry initially at first tomorrow morning, then the showers roll in from the southwest. This winds strengthen and we see this narrow band of heavy persistent rain move its way through. Some quite high rainfall totals on that, adding to the already high rainfall totals we've already seen. And temperatures will peak at around 13 degrees. These black circles are the wind gusts expected. We could see gusts for exposed coastal stretches tomorrow reaching um, a high, well, a gust of around up to 60 maybe even 70 miles per hour. For inland areas, maybe gusts of up to 50 miles per hour. So for the coastal forecast, the winds are southerly, 6 to gale 8, veering west 4 or 5, and the visibility is good, occasionally poor. Now the showers will continue tomorrow evening, especially for the south coast and for the Isle of Wight. Elsewhere should be mainly dry, one or two showers dotted about, and a continuing breeze as well, which will start to ease as we head into Friday. Temperatures tomorrow night will fall between five and six Celsius. So Friday should be a mainly dry day. We could see some early showers skirting along the south coast. The isobars widen, so it will be, uh, well, uh, winds will be lighter during the day. The odd shower is a possibility but there will be a good deal of sunshine as well. So we're looking at a wet and windy day tomorrow, particularly through the afternoon, but mainly dry on Friday. Tom. Looking pretty lively, really, tomorrow, indeed, isn't it? Indeed, yes. Alexis, thanks very much indeed. Uh, that is it from us for this evening. Thank you for being there. Uh, we're back with the late news, slightly later time of 10.40. Join us if you can. Bye-bye for now. Good night. Good night.